Hi guys, I just thought I'd do a little um, video on hedge trimmer maintenance. I think I've done one before on sharpening. Um, I just wanted to, to go into a little bit bit of detail about um, keeping your hedge, tr hedge trimmers in tip top shape. Um, I've got a steel HSA 86 here. Uh, I also have Husqvarna hedge trimmers, but I'm just I'm sharpening this one up and I'm doing a like a mini service. It's a battery machine, so there's no motor to worry about. Um, I'll just tell you what I do. I've, I've taken the plastic cover off the gearbox here. Um, so I'll, I'll give it a little bit of grease. Now, these battery trimmers, you don't have to pack that full of grease. You just give it a little bit. And I, I've got... Um, some steel multi lube it's the clearer one you can get the dirty greasy looking color but i like to use the clearer one it's just a bit cleaner um and i put a bit here a little bit here and uh yeah sometimes i'll, I'll even dab along the blade in here but not not so often when i'm using it a lot but you don't have to pack that full of grease i actually had a Husqvarna machine blow up because it dragged too much. It, it had it was packed. They packed it too tight with grease. It ruined the machine, and it wasn't me that done it. It was the dealers. So anyway, that's one thing to keep it lubed up. Now with the blades, be, usually before I um, sharpen them, I clean them. This this piece here goes on there. I've taken that off so you can get to the blades. So before I usually sharpen them, I'll clean them. And how I do that, I just use a bit of that WD-40 um, lawn and garden cleaner, which foams up, and I scrub it with uh, just a, a brush like this. Just scrub the blades when they're wet and then hose it off. That's what I do there and let that dry. And when it's, then I'll sharpen it. And after I've sharpened it, I'll give it a spray with um, that silicon or lanolin. I've just got a can of this. That's what I've been using. I usually use WD. And guys will say, oh, you shouldn't use WD. It'll burn the hedge. Well, have a think about it for a little minute. This machine, uh, the stroke rate's 3,000 strokes per minute. That little bit of oil will be worn off it's it's not going to kill the plants i've never ever burnt or killed a, a hedge through oil on the hedge trimmers and some guys rave on about it and i just don't believe that it um happens and i've been doing it for a long time the wd i i buy the wd in the, the big uh, four liter things bottles and pour it into one of these and i, I find it's it's actually I like it better than the aerosol. It seems a bit more oily, if you know what I mean, and and sort of stays on the blades. And if I'm using it all the time, I'll I'll give it a spray just of an afternoon, a quick spray. But I don't drench it in it. You know that that's probably why I'm not killing hedges. I just give it a light spray. It's just to keep the rust and that away. And if it's sappy stuff that I'm trimming, I'll clean it off with that stuff. But anyway. What I wanted to get onto a little bit, that's that's your hedge trimmer, the greased, blades cleaned, now you want to sharpen them. So the what I've I found is the best way. Well, like I say, I've been doing it for a long time, sh sharpening hedge trimmers, and a lot of guys swear by the Dremel, which I used to, and I used to use the stone, the little grinding stone that looks a bit like that. And what I found is you'd, you'd grind your teeth and the stone would become concaved. So you weren't really grinding flat on these because your stone would wear out. And using a Dremel is very slow. So I, what I found was that I liked using these little sanding drums. See the little rubber drum? Now this goes in a Dremel. And that was the little sandpaper tube. And I used to buy them bulk on Alibaba or somewhere, I think. And it would take a long time with the Dremel. It did a good job, but it takes a long time to do it both sides of every tooth. 
I know also some guys just like to use a four inch angle grinder or a five inch angle grinder with a flap disc. Well, that's all right too, but what I find with that is you haven't got the control you need. You see, you've got to try and sharpen them at the angle that they're already at. So you're just running along that angle, right? With the um, angle grinder spinning so fast and so powerful, there's only one little slip and you take a nick out of that or take too much off. I've never been a fan of an angle grinder, but it's not the wrong way to do it either. It'll still sharpen them up. And if you're confident enough, happy days. Then, I forgot to get this out. I saw someone on YouTube using one of these pneumatic die grinders, right angle die grinders, and I thought, straight away I thought, that would be perfect for sharpening hedge trimmers. So I bought that. It's only a cheap off eBay, and it is fantastic, but in years the but I had a cheap uh, air compressor and these things suck a lot of air uh, so I upgraded the air compressor to a belt drive one which that's that's a pretty good air compressor that's about 40 litre tank it's a peerless which is a very good brand and this little thing the compressor would just keep up with it and it'd be running you'd start you'd do probably three or four teeth and then the compressor would kick in and it would run the whole time you're doing it unless you stop and let it catch up all the time. So quite happy to use it and good results because that you can get you can get in here. Well obviously it's got this, the little roll up disc on it. And you get a really good result with that little thing. So anyway, the latest latest go is that I've, I've only recently bought and I absolutely have to rate this thing because it's just fantastic it's the Ryobi HP brushless right angle die grinder now this thing for I reckon for sharpening hedge trimmers is the bomb you can't beat it it's got that's it it's got the little I've put the little two inch roll lock pad in there I've been testing her out I've been running over a few edge trimmers with it and I've sharpened a couple um, these little sanding discs I buy they're 80 grit and you'll easily get a whole hedge trimmer out of one pad right before they 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 get dull on the edges because you're mainly using the edge of it and you can tell when it it's dull and, not, and you, you have to spend longer on the tooth, which then that's when it's time to replace it because you don't want the teeth to heat up when you're sharpening them. Yeah, this little thing, it's got, um, I'll just show you, it's got four speeds. The first one is 10,000 revs. The next one's 15, then 20 and 20. I can't see if that's 22 or 25. It's 22 or 25, one or the other. But, um, yeah, I, when I've been in this little shed that I'm in, which is only a little shed, I've got some moles up there, you can see. Um, with the compressor on, you've got to wear your earmuffs because it's, the noise is just deafening. But if, if I just... That's the lowest speed. See how quiet that is? This is the next speed. So that's 15,000. Now I've been sharpening on the third speed, which has been plenty. That's th speed three and... That's the top speed. So I'll go back to three. Now, I, my worry when I purchased this thing was that, again, like the little air die grinder, that this thing was going to suck the battery power. Well, you easily get... This battery wasn't wasn't fully charged. It's gone down to two bars, and I've half sharpened this, so it was I've lost one bar because it was down a bar when I started. So, and it's that's a six amp HP battery. So, I reckon that's pretty good. Actually, I think it's very good, and you can get I can get in here and sharpen with without even wearing earmuffs. It's so quiet. 
So I'll just I'll just show you how I try to hold this phone. I'll do a tooth. <laughs> There's any little nicks or divots in the nicks out of the blade, I'll sand them out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that and how good this little machine is. It's, I think it's fantastic because you've got the portability, like you could have that in your truck. But a day if you were doing lots of hedges and you need to just touch up, or even if if you had it in your truck and you hit something, a nail or something, and nicked your blade, or you could easily... Um, touch it up out in the field you can also get these little um, abrasive pads for that which which are good for taking rust off things I do a bit of restoring old machines and that and they're they're great and polishing so I think this thing's going to get a lot of use uh, in the coming years hopefully years but um yeah, so after I sharpen it, this up and put it back together, put this uh, cut piece on there, I'll uh, give it a good spray with the silicon spray and she'll be ready to go again. It, it, sharp hedge trimmer blades make a huge difference when you're um, cutting hedges. Uh, if, if you sharp, I guarantee if you sharpen your hedge trimmer up, you'll notice a a marked difference because a blunt hedge trimmer will sort of drag through the hedge whereas a sharp one will just slice through a hedge uh, that's that's another thing about um, blade the tip speed the the, the oscillations per minute uh, the stills this stills 3000 which is a little bit slow but it will cut through thicker stuff easily than uh, a faster machine if you know if you can understand what I'm saying that uh, it's sort of more torque uh, the Husqvarna machines that I use mostly are run at 4,000 strokes and and I'm cutting say soft Marias and Durantas and, and they just cut through it better than the steel machines I know still are bringing out new machines that do run at 4,000 uh, and I haven't tried one yet but I'm, I'm keen to try one because I think they'll be great too but anyway, guys, I just thought I'd show you that, show you this little machine. It was 149 bucks at Bunnings. Um, yeah, and well, I don't think that's expensive. That was just the skin, because right, I had batteries. But um, something to, to have a think about. I know Milwaukee do one too. I think it might be a 12 volt machine. And I've, I have seen guys using them on hedge, hedge trimmers. Um, but yeah, just a great little tool. Nice and ba well balanced. Light enough with the 6 amp battery. If, if you think the 6 amp is too heavy, you could put the 2 in, which I've got a 2 amp, but I just used the 6 because I didn't think it made it unbalanced or anything. Yeah, so okay, guys, thanks for your time, and uh, I hope that one helps you a bit. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.